This video is about how to do an antibiogram. We're going to work with a sample of bacteria equally responsive for urinary tract infection. The purpose of the antibiogram will be to determine, thanks to the diameter of inhibition of the result, whether the antibiotic are or are not effective. For this, in aseptic condition, I sterilize a pastor pipette and pick an isolated colony. I open the physiologic water and sterilize the top. Then, I put in the pipette and shake it around as much as possible. Next, I snap off and discordant of pipette, sterilize it by passing in the flame and I take a sample and put two drops in another tube of physiologic water. Second task, insert the swab into the tube and wring out lightly. Seed the petri dish with the swab by rotating. Turning the petri dish 60 degrees to make a mat. Then we move on to the antiseptic disc deposit. You take a clump and sterilize it and collect the first disc that is gently deposited at the agar at the site to mark before and in order to have a uniform space between which disc. The clump is pressed slightly to make the disc adhere to the agar. For the second disc, we sterilize again before taking it, and we do the same as the first on a new location. This is how we do it all the way to the last disc. The disc should not be moved and it has to shed the agar because the antibiotic is already spreading and this could lead to the result later on. The agar is then put in the oven at 37 degrees. After one day of incubation, it's observed that two antibiotic to war against this bacterium, tetracycline and gentamicin. It can be said that the bacterium is sensitive to this two antibiotics.